Hey guys, welcome back to Techogram. Today we are going to learn what is multi level inheritance. So let's begin. This is the second video in our series inheritance. So here as you can see, this is a simple inheritance example. We have one base class and one derived class. So what is multi level inheritance? Multi level inheritance means that we will have another derived class, which is a derived class from the second class. So this is our base class. We have derived B from A and then we have derived C from B. So we will take a simple example of student here which will be our base class then we will create a D marks derived class and then we will use a result derived class of marks so let's see the example so first we will include our basic header files which are conio and iostream.h so iostream.h and hashtag include conio.h now we will create our first base class which is student so to create a class as you know we need to use a keyword class with the name student we will use two integer and we will define that in public you can also define integer in public like we have uh, defined public uh, functions in public you can also use this for integer or variable types so in public we will write integer roll number and we will use something for name so name size will be 20 now in any class we can use this integer roll number and integer character name because we have this declared this in public so we can use anywhere we want in this program and now we will close our student class now we will derive the class marks from the student so to derive the class you need to use the syntax class marks because this is the name of our class now we will use the name of the main class which is public and the name of the class is student now we will define marks in this so we will define this also in public so that we can use in whichever function we want we will define integer because marks are integer you can also use double for decimal value but we will use a simple integer value and now we will close this class also now it's the time for third class as you can see we have derived the class marks marks from public student because student is our base class now our base class will be marks and we will derive a third result class from mark so we'll use the same syntax which is class the name of our derived class is result semicolon and we will use the same public but the name of our derived class now we will just write our all functions and first we will declare an integer to store the result result and now we will use a void get function to get all this is just a function so you can use input or whatever because it will not return anything we have used void so first we will write a simple message enter roll number and because we are calling this in our derived class of the derived class marks and you can use the variables which you have declared in the main class because we have declared this in public so this is how you can use the roll number and name in whichever class you want so we will use here so the roll number so our c out is enter roll number and we will save this in r number which we have declared earlier c out enter name and we will save this in the name and now we can uh, also just print c out message because there are two more thing the marks one and marks two which we have declared in our marks class so we have to take input of these two also so enter marks mark one and mark two now and we will save this in m1 m 
2. Now we will close our get function. This is just to take input from the user. Now we have to calculate our result. So we will use another calculation function so that we can call this in our main program and calculate the marks. Now we have already declared an integer named result. We will use that to store our m1 plus m2. Now it will save the result. We will close the function. And now our third function will be display. To display all this which we have calculated here. First we will display the name. So near name equals to because that is saved in name. Second, we will use our R number which we have declared in our main class. So same thing, we will use R number. Third, we will print the sub marks 1 that we have declared in our base class. Second base class which is marks so that M1. And now we will just print the second mark. We will just give us so that we can identify yes and with this we will m2 for the second now third will be our result so we will type result is is equal to so is and because it is saved in result so result and now we can close our display function so as you can see what we have done here first we have created a base class student which is this then we have created a derived class marks then our third class which is derived from the second derived marks this is result so we have declared a result class we declared another variable so that we can save a result and now we just defined all our functions in this you can also define this function in main class or wherever you want just you have to call it by some methods we have declared this in so it will get easy void get to get the input from the user calculation just to calculate this result m1 plus m2 and this is display so we can display the result we will use our manipulators but first we will see that our program is correct now we will close the derived class now it's the time to start the main class as usual void main now we will create object so as i mentioned in the earlier videos you have to declare the object of the derived class which you have declared last so first we have declared our student class then we have declared a marks class but the last one is result so we will take this class as a and declare our object so we will use here we will use result r and now we have declared our object so we will clear the screen for any left of mess up now we'll call the input function first so it was void get so we'll call r dot get object dot get now we will call the calculation so r dot calculation and now r dot the display function to display all this result now the get c is as usual to hold the screen for output now close so this is our program of a student base class from which we have derived a marks class and we have derived a result class from the marks class so let's run the program sorry i have written this here so you can either change display here or can make this display disp so we will just do this disp now we will run the program again, the program ran without error, now enter roll number which will be 1, name we will write CRK, enter marks on marks we will write 45 and 32, here as you can see name is equal to CRK, R number is equal to 1, marks will go 1, so this is kind of looking mess, so we will correct this, so as usual we will use our manipulator slash n slash n so that this will all get printed in a new line now we'll do the same thing for the message which you have printed in the earlier functions here now 
now we'll run the program enter roll number one you can see there is a space between roll number and one so enter roll number we are written one now name we will write we'll use abbas and now for marks on marks we will use 45 and 34 so as you can see here the all the details are clearly printed name of bars rule number one marks 45 marks to 34 and the result is 79 so everything is correct this is how you can use the multi-level inheritance concept i will explain once again in short what we have done in the main function we have declared an object r dot result r we have used the result class because this is the last derived class so we will we have used result r then we called the r dot get function which we have declared in our third class which is here so all these statement are called we entered the roll number name and then marks one and marks two then we have called the r dot calculation so this invoked this function and the m1 plus m2 is stored in result then for the third we have called r dot display which is this here and this invoked this disk function and all the results name roll number marks and result are printed on the screen so we have what basically done here we have created a class student then derived a marks class and then a result class if you have any suggestion please leave that in the comment if you like the video please like thank you